I think one would have to say that we're on the edge of losing control. I think one would have to say that we're on the edge of losing control. I think one would have to say that we're on the edge of losing control. So scientist has warned that the UK is on the edge of losing control of coronavirus as infections rise. I think one would have to say that we're on the edge of losing control and um, you've only got to look across the channel to see what's happening in France and what's happening in Spain. Uh, the figures in the UK on the 5th of September it was about 1800 people identified with the infection. On the 11th it was 3500. There's been an increase in coronavirus cases across all age groups. It's most pronounced among 20 to 39 year olds. But there's also been a steep rise recently in people over the age of 80 testing positive. Those numbers declined over the summer, but as you can see, they're now going back up. Latest reproduction or R number for the UK is between 1.1 and 1.4, which means that for every 10 infected people, they'll be passing the virus on to between 11 and 14 others. Now, the Prime Minister made clear that unless R falls below 1, then further restrictions are likely. It's thought that coronavirus cases are doubling roughly every seven days and are increasing among all age groups. Hospital admissions are rising too. Yesterday, government scientists said that left unchecked, we could see 50,000 cases a day by mid-October and perhaps 200 deaths a day a month later, though they stressed this wasn't a prediction. But that would still be a fifth of the 1,000 daily deaths at the peak in early April. these extraordinary times. Good evening. The struggle against COVID is the single biggest crisis the world has faced in my lifetime. In less than a year, this disease has killed almost a million people and caused havoc to economies everywhere. The virus has started to spread again in an exponential way. Infections are up, hospital admissions are climbing. We risk many more deaths, many more families losing loved ones before their time. Downing Street's instructions are for England, but this is a message for everywhere. Rules creeping back in response to the disease's quickening return. The single greatest weapon we bring to this fight is the common sense of the people themselves. The joint resolve of this country to work together to suppress COVID now. And to those who say we don't need this stuff, and we should leave people to take their own risks. I say these risks are not our own. The tragic reality of having COVID is that your mild cough can be someone else's death knell. And as for that minority who may continue to flout the rules, we will enforce those rules with tougher penalties and fines of up to 10,000 pounds. We will put 
more police out on the streets and use the army to backfill if necessary. Yet if that isn't enough for the majority to prevail... If people don't follow the rules we've set out, then we must reserve the right to go further. We must take action now, because a stitch in time saves nine. Never in our history has our collective destiny and our collective health depended so completely on our individual behaviour. Now is the time for us all to summon the, the discipline and the resolve and the spirit of togetherness that will carry us through.